Hello and welcome to the Body Mart YouTube channel. My name is Olua Shei Salako. Today's tutorial is going to be about print and cut in our silhouette cameo. So we're in silhouette studio and I have the business edition. Whichever edition you have, this should work properly for you. Why do you need print and cut? Because there are some projects you want to do that has a lot of colors and you do not want to layer and layer, layers upon layers of eight vinyl transfer which is the HTV so we can use this to print out some images on printable vinyls or like paper or even uh, transfer papers so we can use them on our t-shirt as well so the first thing we want to do now to be able to print and cut properly is to set our media size so to set our media size, we want to go to to the page setup. This is the page setup. It's on the right side when you're when you're sitting straight on your computer. The right side, the first one, is say the first um the first one you do is your machine. You set your machine to Cameo, which is the automatic one. Your cutting mat, if you're using a cutting mat, if you're not, then you take out the but for print and cut, you will need a cutting mat anyway. Your media size is what you're going to cut. I have the A4 sheet now, so I'm going to be setting it to A4. And this is ready for me. I want to, I'm, I'm taking print, show print border, and also show cut border. I want to see. I would leave print bleed for now. That will be for another day. I'll be explaining what you do with that. Now, I now go to the page setup as well. You go to your page setup print page setup and you want to set it up as a4 so that it will be the same the same thing as your page setup your print page setup should be the same so with that we are ready to bring in a project so i'll be bringing in two two images to show you what i want to print and cut i'll be bringing in both of these images one of them has a uh, one of them has a cut line already and the other does not and that is why i'm bringing both to show you what we need to do so if you have these images and you have one that is set up already this one here is set up for print and cut how do you know this is set up for print and cut is because i bought this as a print and cut image how do you know again is to go to your send as if you want to cut it then you will see your trace your your cut line is there already then how do you know which one doesn't have because it wouldn't have a cut line so this tonal duke one wouldn't have a cut line because it's just an image i downloaded off google and i want to use for my son's t-shirt we can see there is no trace line there's no cut line on this image so that's the difference between an image that is already made for print and cut and the one that you have to make cuttable by your, by your cutting machine. So I want to use this image now. I'm going to be deleting this one. This is just to explain to us how to know which is, a, which is ready to cut and which is not ready to cut. Because, it, this does, because Donald Duke does not display the cut lines, which is the red one, it means it's not ready. The machine cannot read it. But this the machine can read. I hope you get the gist of that now. So I'm going to be deleting that one because I do not need it. And we're going to be working on Donald Duke. No. We're going to be working on this guy here. I want to put this guy on my son's t-shirt. Uh, he uses a 6 to 7 size t-shirt. I want to make it a very large image. So I have done that. The next thing we will need to do is to trace this image so it would give it cut lines if we do not trace it it would not have cut line the the trace panel is on your right and it looks like a toast or a bread whichever you choose to call it you go to select trace area and you put that you you bring out your trace area make sure your image is inside the trace area Silhouette Cameo is very good for doing a very good job with the trace already. But if you would not, if you do not like what it has done, you can go to threshold and either trash it up or down. But I'm good with what 
I have here because I only want to trace the outer edge because I only want to cut round the now do I'm going to be printing and cutting so trace outer edge that is what I've done if we take this image out we'll see them we can see there's a trace line there now which is what it would cut for us so I'll bring back my image into it now I have both the cut lines and the image ready i want to group them so nothing moves so the next thing is to group i have grouped them and now when we move both of them moves together both the cut line and the image moves together so to be able to print and cut properly one thing i have discovered is make sure there is only one page open if there is several pages open sometimes it it, it messes the the scanning of the page for it to be able to print and cut it properly for it for the cameo to be able to cut it properly so make sure only one page is open if you can and then with your sizing we want to make sure we have the size of whatever we want or whatever size we want it already i think i'm good with this size because it has a width of seven i would have preferred the width to be eight let's do this and make the width eight if it's, it's not going to be too big, I want something large on the t-shirt. Yep, so I have 8 by 9. 9 is the height. And this is my A4 sheet. So now we want to go to the very thing why we're, the very, the very reason why we're here to print and cut this. In order to be able to print and cut this, we want to open our page setup again. And go to registration max. Registration max is the one, two, three. It's the third one on our page setup. So when we go to registration max, we want to click on on the registration max. Make sure after clicking the on registration max, the only thing you do is to print. Do not move the image. If you move the image, it might not read your registration max properly anymore. So I'm I have put the Registration marks and I want to make sure that my image is inside the registration marks So I can see from the one two three registration marks my image is inside If your image is too big you have to reduce it. It doesn't have to touch the registration mark It has to be in the border here Once it's inside this border, then it's okay. It will print and cut properly So this is the main thing we need to do and then we send it to machine to the printer first to print then we send it to the then we bring it to our cameo so this is the important stage now the important stage for a good print and cut is for it to have the trace the registration marks once these registration marks are good then we'll be able the machine will be able to scan and cut it properly so now let's print and we meet at the cutting machine now we have our image printed with the registration marks there, as we can see. So now we want to send it for the Cameo, Silhouette Cameo machine to cut it. And let's see how it would do. So now machine has finished cutting the image we want to see what job it's done if it's a good one or not so let's see mm -hmm. 
So we can see that our, our print and cut has been cut perfectly and now we can lay this on however we want to use it and we can use it now. So the secret to having a very clean cut is to make sure that the cut lines are really showing and also that your image is inside the boxes, inside the registration marks. Once they are inside the registration marks, they should cut and you shouldn't have any problem with your print and cut. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.